Hey guys, Xiaomi, and today I have a guide for a content, a game that nobody really care about. And I'm not okay with that, all right? To me, it is one of the best content right now, and it is The Dorm. Yeah. <laughs> if you're playing Punishing Grey Raven and you are saving for Alpha like literally anybody else, you definitely run out of serum. And what do you do when you run out of serum? Besides joining Xiaomi Discord for a fun community, you go to the dorm and play with your character. Before you do anything about the dorm, let me give you the reason why you have to give a shit about the dorm. So the dorm, you go to the shop, you can actually buy coding sketch. You can turn coding sketch into coding blueprint. And you can turn the blueprint into a skin. It is a very long and lengthy and boring process. But if you care about skin, then it is one way to sort of grind for your skin. You need to do the DOM mission. So when you do the DOM mission, you get the DOM currency. The purple one is like money, you know, just normal money, like cocks. This one is more like the premium currency. It's more like black cards. And this one you can use to buy the permit to have more DOM rooms. And you can use this to buy the coding sketch. And there'll be daily quests that you need to do in your DOM that will give you the currency as well as gift so they can give your favorite character. And why do you have to give your favorite character? When you give them, you increase their intimacy level with you, from acquaintance to girlfriend, to wife, to your queen, to the love of your life, pretty much. And after you do that, you can unlock their voice, their secret, their info, and all that good stuff, and also their story. You can get more attached with your character and get angry on every Discord server when somebody bash your favorite character. So that's pretty much the value of the dorm. So what do you do in the dorm on a daily basis? You go into your room. As you can see, I have myself a gamer room with my girls in here. They just, you know, playing games, chilling, and uh, recording some um, vlog. You see there's a small triangle with Canarina right here. Let me bring her over here. You can see the small triangle right there shining. You can tap on the character, let it speak a little bit. And she might give you some stuff. Yeah, she gave me some stuff. So we get a gift. It's a box that you can go to your inventory to see what you get. Or she might give you the yellow coin. But only the happy one will give you gifts. The not so happy one, you need to rub them or pat them. Honestly, this padding system is kind of weak because I'm not really padding them, like like padding, padding. I'm, I'm more like rubbing, rubbing, which I'm not a fan. <laughs> I really want like patting, you know, not rubbing like this, kind of weird. And when they're happy, when you go back to the dorm, there's a chance they're gonna give you some stuff. I personally haven't worked on the other dorm just yet, but um, you can create as many as you can and then put in as many characters as you can. Sometimes they don't really want to give you anything, which is a shame, but I guess because his room didn't have anything, so he didn't really like me that much. But maybe, oh, she's not very happy. Oh, is she gonna give me something? Are you gonna give me something? Maybe? Yay, she gave me something. So she gave me a coin, which is pretty good because I need that. And that's like the basic of dorm. So these two missions are very easy. You don't have to really care about it too much. If you want to quickly do it, you go to the crafting button, you choose a random item, it doesn't make a difference, and then you only need to use three of the currency. Doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter. Just craft literally anything, like a chair or you know a table or whatever. It doesn't make a difference, and you can do it very quickly like this, all at once, and you're good to go. So you craft them, you claim them, just like this, and then you recycle one of them. So you go back to your warehouse, you choose the one that you just got, and then you recycle them. Boom. And you are done with your dailies. It is very quick, it's not very complicated. It's just a lot of patting and crafting a little bit, and you're good to go. If you want to do more, you can take a look at some of the lower mission, where you have the certain we need to craft like floor or walls if you are needing like one extra coin. But you don't really have to do it. Just do your dailies and you're gonna accumulate enough to unlock more stuff. So I've gotten enough to buy another permit. I am needing, I need another permit to get another room for my dorm. 
So how do you decor this shit? Okay, let's get to the basic here. To decorate first, you need to tap the decorate button. Here you have the decorate menu where you can place the item wherever you want. So these wall are just the basic wall. You can tap on any one of them. It will just replace the wall of the room to the uh, basic wall that you saw before. You can also buy or craft different wall, press on them, and you have an entirely different wall. Unfortunately, you cannot like put a wall in the middle or you cannot have like one metal, one brick, one cafe. You just have to have one of them only here. And then you can put your item down. You can move them around, spin them, whatever. It's pretty simple here. I'm going to put this one, I think. Sometimes the view can get really obstructed, but I'm going to put this one here. And that's how you put down the item. You can do the same with other large item or small item, be it the sofa, the toilet, or you know, whatever. Here my concept is we have the gamer, the vlogger, the admins, the bed. And here we have a cafe for them to you know have a drinks and chillax in this area. The floor is also the same. You probably have a lot of metal floor, random shit, so it's gonna look like this. But you can also have the cafe floor and it's gonna look like this. Unfortunately, you cannot mix and match metal and cafe floor. So one thing though, like if you're looking at this wall right now, right? And you press on the accessory that's on the wall, it will go to it. If you want to go to another wall, you have to spin and press on it. Okay, because you cannot press this and then move them to the other wall. It doesn't work. So you have to cancel or remove that and spin your view so that you can put the, the accessory to another corner, another wall. Confirm and you're good to go. So that's like the basic of uh, decoration. And it's pretty fun because, you know, there's nothing else to do anyway. So I just play around with this and it's actually more fun than I thought it would be. Now, how do you get these? items to put in your room so the easiest quickest way is to go to the menu go to the shop and then you can buy whatever you want from locker to lights to desk and all that good stuff but it is rather expensive if you buy like the item straight up you can also buy the blueprint so i'm gonna buy let's say the vending machine blueprint okay if i buy the vending machine it's gonna cost 40 but if you buy the vending machine blueprint it's gonna cost you 10. If you really wanna min-max, you're gonna min-max the stat according to what your character enjoy. So you go to the build option, modify, select the closet that you just crafted, select, and then get a blueprint, the vending machine blueprint, and then you get a vending machine. I think the stat will be random, possibly more Lamau gacha stats and you can modify your items. So total cost will be three for the shelf, 10 for the blueprint, and I think it was two for the modify cost. So in total, it is really cheap compared to buying the thing straight up, but you have to go through different steps to get there. So it is a little bit inconvenient, but if you only plan to decorate one room, you don't really care, and you just wanna make it look nice and you're lazy, you could just buy it straight up pretty much. In the future, there'll be a button here where you can buy or have preset for different type of dorm like cafe or Japanese style or whatever kind, right? But it is not in the global version just yet. When I do my research, I saw that in the older version of the game, there's a button right here that allows you to just go with the preset and it's gonna be much simpler. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Maybe we're gonna do like a dorm review, dorm grading in the future. It might be fun. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about DOM. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Bye.